The Tempo of Tshuva. Rav Kook describes in the second chapter of Orot HaTshuva that perhaps there are two tempos of Tshuva, two times, two paces, as it were. One he calls Tshuva Pit Omit, sudden Tshuva, and the other Tshuva Hadragit, developmental Tshuva, incremental Tshuva. The first, he says, is Bepam Achat Makirhu et Harav et Hakiur Shel Hachet Fnehepach Leishacher. In one instant, the person recognizes the evil and the filth of mistakes, and he becomes something else. He becomes someone else. Ukvar Margishu Bikirbo, he feels inside his Tanut Gemurah Tova. He is already suddenly transformed. It's like a bolt of lightning. Tshuva pitomit. On the other hand, Tshuva hadragit, incremental tshuva, says Rav Kook. Margishu, he feels, shetzarich liot holechu metiv drachav orchot chayav. He has to improve his paths of his life, his ways. Ritzono he needs to improve his interests, his desires, his thoughts. And through this path, slowly, slowly, he conquers one step at a time the paths of righteousness. He fixes the values and the character traits that need mending. He writes the wrongs of his actions. He ennobles himself, growing step by step until he becomes higher and higher in the process of self-purification and fixing. Rav Kook doesn't suggest that one process is better than the other or that one is for a particular type of person. Perhaps Rav Kook is alluding to the fact that at different times in our lives, we can undergo different processes of tshuva, tshuva pitomit and tshuva hadragit, the sudden transformational experiences, and then the more incremental stages of growth. So we need to be prepared for both. On the one hand, perhaps we need to be thinking, where can I catch a lightning bolt? How can I put myself in a situation where I can encounter that tshuva pitomit, that great energy, that spiritual awakening that I will find in myself. And then on the other hand, perhaps we need to be sensitive to the process of tshuva hadragit. How do we feel about ourselves deep down? How do we identify where are the aspects of our lives that need tikkun, the character traits, the values, the actions, all of these, these processes of the slow incremental tshuva are part of the bigger picture. It's important for us on both levels to be aware of the two tempos of tshuva and to see how can we implement them, how can we seek them out to engage them in our lives.